everybody, and welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Um, I'm gonna be honest, this video is going to be actually recorded a lot sooner than when I'm recording it. Uh, this is actually going to be recorded um, before I went to my trip uh, for Fan Expo, and unfortunately due to the fact that I was a very eepy girl and passed out on the day I was going to record this, I didn't end up doing it. Regardless, we are covering the new MP9 aftermarket part of the FJX Horus, the Jack uh, Scimitar. Is that how it's pronounced? That's what Google says it. Scimitar. Um, it essentially adds both velocity range vehicle control, firing utility, gun key control, what makes you overall slower. I have made a couple of builds. This one is mainly for MP that I have decided to use. And it is basically just made to be a point and click adventure game. Where it's just super high accuracy, high re or low recoil, just super easy to control. Um, there is another build you could do with it, personally, that I like for zombies, which is this one here. Obviously, basically same concept here with this is is just the normal MP9 build that you usually do for this. It's just you're adding more recoil control with the Jack BFB as opposed to the uh, laser for ADS speed. Also, this build specifically is for the version of the MP9 that if you run pack a punched, um, allows you to do a lot of really fast zooms. Uh, but yeah, that being said, we're gonna hop into a match with this thing, uh, giving it a try. I have used it a little, little bit, but not too, too much. We're gonna hop on in, give it a little bit of a try, and uh, see what we can do because it's gonna be able to have a little bit of fun. Yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute when we're in a match. On the new mode, cash. No, not new mode, but it's like a new cool thing. Actually, nah, we'll do just normal quick play. Yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute when we're in a match. Alright, we got to a game. I'm gonna mute that first, I'm sorry. Uh, there we go. Popping on in, seeing how this thing goes. I have done a couple more of games to kind of get used to everything. Um, one thing I will recommend is if you're not doing the, this, this exact build that I'm doing, I do recommend an optic. Because this thing does not have the greatest of iron sights. Looks like we have a couple of snipers in our game. In fact, I actually need to put a vertical on this, personally. Cause I like the normal... Actually, now nah, keep going at it. I like the normal thing, but I would say if you're going to take anything off, take the grip off, put on an optic. The uh, hand grip, the not the area. front grip. Or the laser, in my case. I could take that off. In fact, I think I might. That de Frank, Frank Heffley, the fucking Darv Whippy Kid's dead. Just got a DNA bomb. Damn. I don't know if I should be furious or terrified. Triple kill. Uh, yeah, this is my first time playing anything that's not, um... First time playing anything that is not, uh... Smash, because I obviously did do a bunch of video games when I was in Boston. With my friend Eevee. Um, I don't know if that'll ever go up on my channel, but if it does go up anywhere, it'll go up on Fox then. Um, but I did actually get to experience VR for the first time. I actually got to play Walt to the Wizard. Had decent fun doing that. I think it's very, very unique and very fun. Um, but, um, the main thing is, uh, we did go, I hope due to just money constraints, I wasn't able to get as much stuff as I wanted. But I did get a new Vulpix plushie, and I'm very happy. It's an official Vulpix plushie, and that makes me very, very happy. Hardpoint 
located. Secure the target area. Oh, he's at the end. Um, but yeah, I uh, I had a reasonably good time. Uh, I think mainly the reason why I wasn't like super super having fun like I did last year was just due to money and stress because of money problems and stuff like that, and just generally me deciding to buy a $185 plushie for the sake of the fact of mm, official plush over. Um, that and I'm weak for plushies. I am a very, I am a, I am a simple girl. I see a plushie and I want to hold it. I, I like fluffy things. That's why I have, that's why I have a Blaha and a Build-A-Bear Mimikyu. They're very soft and very cuddle-able and I have, it's a very nice thing of mine that whenever I am sad or uh, having anxiety, I hold the plushie. I know it's very, like, kid-like, but hey, I have autism, you know. Um... I, I they get very comforting when I see a nice plushie. It makes me feel good. It gives me, it grounds me. Is what it it does. Is all people talking in game? No. But um, yeah, I had a really good time playing. Uh, Smash and playing uh, both Mario Party, Super Mario Party, Mario Party 5, Smash Brawl, um, uh, Smash 4, um, or not Smash, yeah, Smash 4, um, and we also did, uh, we watched the new episode of Doctor Who that happened, The Legend of Ruby Sunday, had a lot of fun watching that when it came out, um, we did also watch Madam Web again, I watched Madam Web the second time. I really did not like that movie. I don't. I like Sony. Sony movies are good, except when they try to make a not Spider-Man movie, and then it's just like bad. It was cool in concept, man. It's just I can't get behind the fact that the villain is just hey, I'm I am definitely Spider-Man. Like I am definitely Spider-Man. Um, I'm excited for Venom Three though. Venom Three does. Venom is like the saving grace of Sony for the Sonyverse right now. Is that it is good. I'm hoping that if there is a... I basically just hope that there is a, a good post credit scene that sets things up for a new Sonyverse movie. A new Sony ver uh, new Sonyverse Spider-Man. And or we get new... Uh, I think we actually got news that uh, Spider-Man 4 is being recorded, or being filmed soon. Um, speaking of stuff that, about, I guess I'm saying movies, but just cool stuff in general. Um, we got information on Final Fantasy 2. It's being worked on. I'm very excited. We also have the Into the Pit game. Um, other stuff like that. And, um, I guess I might as well talk about this because it is relevant. Because it is something I did mention I want to talk about. I'll probably go into a bit more detail, personally. Um, in another video, specifically talking about this game franchise in more detail. Also, I'm going to play with another game after they really need to do too, too much, and that was very short. Um, but, essentially, um, the main goal is, or the main thing I wanted to bring up is... The fact of with the game showcase that we got from Xbox, there was an announcement of a game, uh, a requel, <laughs> or I guess it's a prequel game to Doom 2016, that being Doom the Dark Ages. Uh, as you know, Doom and the correlated comps are some of my favorite videos that I've made or helped make in the case of the comms um, on my channel. They are some of my favorites and legitimately I find them both very funny and very well edited and also just generally I love the Doom, the Doom experiences. I found them they're be one of the most solid games out there and also what we're going to be talking about the music is absolutely fucking amazing 
and you probably hear me sometimes using Destiny videos, I sometimes use as background uh, music for the streams, and occasionally when I'm deciding to not be having the when I'm having the gameplay be the focus of the video and less talking me talking, um, the game the music you hear is sometimes Doom or Hell, Metal Health Singer, um, and the thing I wanted to bring up is the problem with Doom and Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal more specifically. If you aren't aware, during the launch of Doom Eternal, the official soundtrack took a really long time to release. In fact, as far as I'm aware, it still actually hasn't gotten a proper official release. Or if it did, it's not great. And that was because its software, or specifically the person who helped make Doom at its software, um, refused to pay Mick Gordon for his work because apparently, quote, his work was unfinished and did not meet the deadline. When in reality, it was, and he was basically being forced to crunch things out when he really couldn't. And he was also dealing with a whole multitude of problems. Basically, to TLDR it, I'm not going to go into whole detail about it. If you want to look into it, you can. I think there's plenty of videos regarding the whole problem on YouTube already. Uh, Mick Gordon did not receive payment for Doom Eternal and its soundtrack, and was basically neglected and dragged through the, through the dirt by Bethesda and id, and was very much just kind of a bad situation all around. Um, for the Ancient Gods Part 1 and 2, it was Brian Levy and Andrew uh, Huschelt, I'm, forgive me if I'm butchering that name, um... But they both took the mantle of the composers and lead uh, music creators for that, and they did a very good job. Blood Swamp is one of my favorite tracks. Um, and Andrew is very, very good, has very, very good music. He does a lot of music for Ultra Kill, which I do plan on doing a video on. And he also did a uh, bunch of... He's actually doing the soundtrack for Iron Lung, which is Markiplier's feature-length film. And I'm very excited to see that when everybody does come out. Um, but, that being said... The main thing is also the fact that it is a Doom new Doom game, and I'm going to probably pull this with uh, you guys here on the YouTube community tab, as well as on Twitter. Um, and that is going to be if I do a playthrough of Doom the Dark Ages. Um, I don't think it'll be on day one with Game Pass. It'll probably be within its month of release, depending on release uh, Let's Play scheduling. But um, I am very hesitant in doing so for the sake of the fact that Mick Gordon still has not received payment and all that. But at the same time, it's like it's still a Doom game, right? I'm basically with the mindset of I want to play it and I'm excited for it, but I would feel bad doing so because of the fact of everything that happened with Mick, because Mick deserves to get paid. Mick Gordon's an amazing musician. He helped to make one of my favorite songs from Oceans of the White. He he's, did the soundtrack for Killer Instinct, which is a game that I absolutely, in terms of the vibe, I've fallen in love with. But in terms of the actual, like, stuff that happened with Doom, I still feel I have a sour taste in my mouth of wanting you to play a Doom. Like, I'm excited and I feel weirdly... My excitement feels misplaced. I'm excited for more, a new Doom game, I'm not excited because of the fact that Doom's, uh, Mick Gordon still has been paid for his work on Eternal. If that kind of makes any sense. I guess I really don't need to make a second video on it, I guess. But, as you kind of get the idea, I'm just very... I want to do a series on it. I do. But I don't feel comfortable doing so while also wanting to show respect to Mick and make sure that he gets the stuff that he deserves for that. And I basically w was going to do as my redebut main redebut stream for the new model. Um, I was going to have it be a Doom and Doom Eternal eff effective Nuzlocke type thing, where I basically play the entire game in one sitting, uh, both games in one sitting, and basically don't stop until I beat them type thing. Um, on the third hardest difficulty, I was going to do it on Nightmare, but I would rather warm up. I would rather do something else and just do it on the third hardest difficulty to see if I even have the ability to do it on Ultraviolet on a Nightmare and then maybe save Nightmare for a charity stream or something. But, uh, I can't call my streaks. There we go. 
Oh, she takes the credit. There we go. Stop camping there, then, dude. Every single time I run to that corner, he's been there. It's consistent. Um. Also, yeah, with this after market part, they added a 60 round mag for the FJX Horus. And it, it makes this thing so much more usable. Because uh, 60 rounds with this thing? Oh, yeah. Well, we could have 60 rounds with this Zafari. more time to react. I should have walked closer than I would like. I don't like how close this is. We barely won that, but yeah, I uh, I, I I don't know what I'm gonna be doing for video tomorrow. I know I need to report something for tomorrow. Um, it'll most likely be something in uh, as a one-off, because there is a couple of games that I want to do as a one-off video that I want to do as like a one-off, like I said, <laughs> as it implies. Uh, one of them is going to definitely be a video on. Um, well, I'll just tease it here. There's your teaser, is that you can see it in the list there again. Um, and then I do want to do a video on... Obviously, Wednesday is going to be more Mass Effect. Um, I apologize that it was delayed. I had other plans, and I just was like, eh, I'll just move the video over. Um, I didn't miss the upload, I just missed the Mass Effect scheduling. It's fine, as long as the video got up. That's all I really care about. Um, and then uh, Thursday, Friday should be obviously the, uh, the next week's aftermarket, uh, this week's aftermarket part. And then, depending on if I can get a team together for it, I can't promise, but I do need to get it done essentially this weekend anyway. Um, I'll probably ping my server about it tomorrow morning anyway. Um, or as we record this, definitely this morning, because uh, it's after midnight on Monday now. Um, I'll probably ping my server about it and see if I can get a team for the Salvation's Edge raid and uh, get that done for you guys because I know that is a uh, huge thing because I I, uh, I really like Destiny 2 and I want to continue covering that game because it is a game that I do hold very, very dear to my heart, especially recently with all of the excellent writing that they've done. Regardless, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this, subscribe. I upload every single day. We are, as of me recording this, we are only two subscribers away from 500. I don't have a huge video planned right now, but I do have an idea for what I want to do for 500. And I would greatly appreciate it if we could do that. Um, we would be basically one step closer to getting, uh, we'd be about 50% of the way to being able to get uh, monetization on the channel. And while I don't want that to be the main focus, I do want this to be sort of a nice way of having extra money in my pocket for stuff like conventions, videos for you guys, stuff like that. And also, by having more subscribers, it means it gives me more opportunities to be able to get brand deals and stuff like that. Especially since what, uh, something I love is being able to help people find things that they may not have enjoyed before. It's why I work at this place that I work at. I like introducing people to new games and stuff like that, and new products that people might be thinking are up and coming. Regardless, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody, and stay safe.